so now in this video we are going to see how list view works in android so the word itself says that list view means it would consist some sort of list of data right which we can view on our android application so let's start with the session and over here i have already created a list view project and these are some default layouts which are here so let me remove them and write here linear layout i'll even remove this text view okay now in the design part i'll come and from the palette window i'll search for list view okay so here's my list view i'll select and drag and drop it under linear layout so here you can see item one item two item three and so on okay so this is the list that template of list view and let me give id for my list view android colon id and i'll give it as my list so what i can do is uh, you can go into the resource folder and in values under strings over here you can create a string array and then bind it in through our main xml file or we can go into our main activity.kd file and over here we'll create a string array put the data and bind it to our list view so the list uh, which we would be displaying would be a list of countries so let us create a variable name as countries and then array list so we have array of the type would be string data type as string and over here the name of the country so india then we have japan then we have china and the last we have australia okay so this uh, this uh, this data i need to show it in my list view so now let's bind our list view so in the data binding video we have seen how to bind a particular gui component to our main activity.kt file so similarly here the gui component which we have used is list view so let's bind the list view in our main activity so create a variable and give it a name as list view or any name you wish to give equal to i would say find view by id then the name of the gui component for which we are binding it so it is nothing but list view and over here the path where the gui component is so it is in r.id.mylist okay so here we have given the id right my list so that's what we are using here now we have uh, used and binded list view so now let's create an adapter list view adapter so using this variable list view dot we have over here adapter equal to array adapter so now what is this array adapter so array adapter is used to bind your data to your list view okay so we have data over here india japan china which is in stored in variable countries so we would bind this data which is in variable countries to our list view so let us see how we can do it so list view dot adapter is equal to array adapter and over here i'll again pass the data type as string and then the path from where to where i have to bind it to my activity or to my application so to this application that is the reason i would have as this comma then android dot r dot layout dot simple list item one so this simple list item one is nothing but it is a by default by, by default xml document which is provided by android studio to us so now what exactly is this so it is a kind of row layout for our list view so this list view we have just dragged and drop a gui component right but if you get into the design part and you can see over here item one item two item three well we cannot see this i how this item one and item one two three are been derived we just know the list view so this item one two three how this rows rows are designed they have they have come from this simple list item one 
so this is by default xml layout with which android provides us you just need to use it and then i'll put a comma and i need to bind my data so my data is nothing but this list and it is stored in a variable country so i would pass that variable over here and countries right over here so what our adapter has done is it has it binds the data okay which was there in variable stored uh, variable countries to a layout which is simple list item one which is a by default layout provided in android studio okay so now that we have done with the binding of data now what i want to do is on the click of each of the list item i need to show it as a toast message that yes you have clicked on this country so now let's set the on item click listener property so we have list view dot set on item click listener this one okay parent view position id i would select this so over here you can see there are three to four words as parent so this parent is nothing but our list uh, nothing but our parent list view then we have view so this view is nothing but the items which are there in the list view which is nothing india japan china australia then position is the position of the items which are going to be clicked and id is again the id of those items which have been clicked right so now over here under on item click listener i would create a variable as well toast so that i have to pre i have to show a toast message right so toast dot make text so where i need to print this in this activity so that is the reason this then the message which i need to print is you click you click on the country and i want to take it up to a new line the country name so i'll put slash n and then concatenate it with the name of the variable which is countries and i need to pass the position as in which particular item is clicked so it has been identified with the help of position so over here i would pass the position of that item and this is the position and then we have comma toast dot length long and to the next line i would write toast dot show and let's take it to the center so toast dot set gravity and we need to set it to center so gravity dot center and the coordinates as in x or 0 comma 0 x and y coordinates and then we have toast okay this toast dot show would come over here okay so we have created a list binded the list to our list view and we would print it or we would show display a toast message as in which item we are going to click and i'll run this code let's check so here is my list view on my emulator so you can see india japan china australia the name of the countries and if i click on india i get a toast message you click on the country india if i click on china i get a toast message you clicked on the country china so this is how our list view works and you can bind the list view and show which items you are which items you have clicked so that's how list view works in android that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe